set and my, my hair is in two strand twist and I redo my two strand twist every three to four days and I've been washing my hair every, every seven to 14 days but anyway so say I want to go out I wouldn't go out looking like this but I would wear this okay because as I said it's too hard for me to cover comb my hair because of my rotator cuff tips. So now I just want to show you what else I do. I keep these in. For a more polished look, I can add, this is what I like a lot. This stuff is awesome. This is called Kinky Curly. What is this? Kinky Curly Curling Custard. I like this a lot. I use it a lot to lay my edges down or the, what do you call it? My hairline, my hairline. So I'm just going to take a little bit because see my hairline looks pretty good up now. So I would just take a little here. You see, and I'm going to look at the mirror over me, and a little here. I'm not even going to take this out because it still looks pretty neat. A little here, and then a little here. This is a burn. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> I'm. I do not have another connective tissue disease that would cause that. I burn myself pretty bad. A little bit here. So I'm not I'm not using it as much. Okay. I only put it on my edges to give it a smoother appearance. And here and then I'm not really sure. I guess oh yeah, they want to lay their baby hairs down. I'm not really sure why so many of my sisters are into um laying their baby hairs down. I don't understand that phenomenon phenomenon phenomena. I've never been into that. My mother never did that for me. I just, you know, I guess to each his own. But I do like my hair to be me. So I would, I'm going to look in the mirror that's above me. So we'll start shop. Again, I'm not going to take this little twist down because I put it up this morning and it still looks okay. But I just wanted to slick it down a little so you can see how well this works. I did not put any of this on my hair today, by the way. I did not. What I did to my hair this morning was I put, uh, what do you call it? I put, I think I brought it with me. Yeah. What is it? Here it is. I put a little of this on my hair. This is what I use to re-moisturize my hair. This stuff is awesome. It's called Jamaican Black Castor Oil with Coconut. It's mango and lime. This is my favorite. So I put a little bit on my hand, start at the, the bottom, and then work my way up to the roots. And if my hair feels dry, if it still feels dry, I'll put a little leave-in conditioner, like um, the one I used on my last video for mixed chips. But this, it wasn't dry, so I just, um, that's it. So I'm not really, you know, I don't care about baby hair. Let me be honest with you. I'm not really sure why that's such a phenomenon. And when I see people using toothbrushes, I still can't quite grasp that concept. But anyway, not bashing anyone. It's just unusual. I'm 55 year old. You're 55 years old, so maybe that's something in your generation do. I don't know. But now let me show you how I would comb my hair. Say if I had to go to my doctor's office, or say I had to go to the market. Okay? This is what I would do. Okay. I, I break my hair off in little sections because it's kind of long. In the front, it comes probably comes, comes down to my breast, actually. You wouldn't know. But I like to, I like to tuck it in. So what I would do is... I always take, like this part here is twisted. I twist the ends. I don't know why. I just do. And I'll just dab a little bit of my finger, a little bit of oil on my finger. And yeah. so I twisted this yesterday. And it's still holding up pretty good today. And then I curl it a such. Sometimes these unravel, like this, look at this. This is unraveling, but I want it to be twisted. Um, so I usually will redo it, but I don't feel like it right now. Because I'm not going anywhere. I'm just showing you what you can do if you're very sick and you cannot comb your hair. And you don't want to look completely crazy or, you know, you don't want to wear a cap to cover your hair all the time. You want to show some of it. This is something you can do. And this is why I do this because 
I don't. Sometimes I will just put on cap. Now, now that it's getting winter time, I'll probably just wear a cap anyway. So, um, during the winter. But right now, you know, it's warm enough, especially in the summertime. I came up with this idea when it became too difficult for me to comb my hair because um, I was self-conscious about my hair being uh, covered up with, a, you know, something when it's really hot. So, as I said, where is it? This one and this one. Okay. So, I take it and... I, I wrap the bottom around my fingers. I said, this, my hair is really long here, you know, and I don't want it, I don't want to cut it because I'm trying to get my hair to grow out. So I pin that like that, I'm not pin it like that. I put that like that, and then I take this one, and I roll it, okay, and then I take a bobby pin, I'm looking in the mirror. And pin it down so it doesn't fall down. Okay. That's pretty that's pretty good. And then I do the same thing with this one. I twist it. And then I pin it. So it won't fall down. See? That's what I do. That's all I do with that. And then, so I leave out the front of my hair. But the back of my hair, as you saw, I keep a small, um, what do you call it, satin cap on it. So then I just do the same thing here. I twisted these yesterday. I retwisted them. So it still looks good. In fact, it's still soft and moisturized. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this sucker like this. Sometimes my hair will stay in place. And I don't even have to do anything, but sometimes to make sure it stays in place. Now, see, this is really hard because I have to lift up my arm. That's why there's no way I could do all my hair uh, at this stage of my illness. And then I take the towel. I take the other section. See this one? Yeah, I did this one yesterday too. Again, see my arm is starting to bother me because I'm lifting my hand above my head. I just want to show you what you can do if you're very, very ill. And you're too sick to comb your hair, and you don't have anyone to comb your hair for you. Because I'm married, but my husband doesn't know how to comb hair. Not women's hair, anyway. So, I put that there, okay? Now, one minimum to select. And, sorry, my mouth is getting dry. That's why, if I sound funny. Okay. And then, I comb this. This doesn't need, um, this is very moisturized. I don't need to do anything to this either. So, okay, so I just pull it. Okay, it's getting tangled in itself. Yes, I wonder what that is. You know what? Yeah, I didn't do it the way I normally do. That's okay. I usually like to do this one, then it's like three sections. I usually like to do this one, and this one, and then this one. But I used to do it the way I'm showing you now, and I think that's why I automatically did it that way. I can't really see, but I like to wear my hair up. That didn't come out right. But I think you get the general idea. Yeah, that doesn't, well, you know what, whatever. And then I have some hair on the sides. It's just hard doing this while you're not, while you're talking and you're looking into a camera. It's really hard. So then I have these sections, which I, I usually leave this part of my hair out. And cool weather, but this is going to look ridiculous. So, because I'm so sick, so what I do, and these two are very moisturized too. I usually, um, I can, I can usually, if I don't feel like detangling with a comb, I'm going to take my finger and use my thumb and just go like that. Okay, and then I retwist. Just the uh the bottom part. Uh because it looks cute to me. Uh oh. Yeah, that's enough. And then I twirl around my fingers and I lay it like that. And then I do the same thing with this piece. Okay. 
There we go. And on this side, same thing. Again, very, very moisturized. I re-moisturized my hair. Um, oh, Friday? Yeah. And if you saw my last video, my hair doesn't need to be re-moisturized for usually four days. It starts getting a little dry after I wash it. So I will re-moisturize it. Um, let's see. Yeah. My hair usually starts getting dry like four days after I wash it. Sometimes seven days. Excuse me. To be honest, it's like four days. And I take it down. And I take a little bit of this. This stuff is really wonderful because it locks in the moisture of your hair. So it's not like my hair is completely dry, but I can see it's getting dry by the fourth day. So I put like a dime size on the end of my hair. Usually it's like my hair is in fourth section or, you know, maybe, I don't know, um, maybe three pieces I'll break it into. And I'll put this on the ends, work this way on the roots. And if it's, my ends tend to be the driest, so a lot of times, usually, I'll put a leave-in conditioner on the ends of my hair to make it healthy and to keep it moisturized. And usually I'll use uh, Miss Chicks Mix Chicks or that other lemongrass um, conditioner I showed you. So anyway, yeah. So I'm almost finished. I would be finished by now if I wasn't talking to you. This takes like 15 minutes tops. That's it. And it's not, oops, what happened? I don't know. Wait a minute. So I'm talking to you. This is painful, but I just wanted to show you where you can go out of the house. Okay, this is my this is the arm. I have two full thickness hair on look at that it looks really messy. Because I'm doing it in my but that's okay. Um I have two full thickness rotator cuff hairs on this arm. And from what I read, people have we have four tendons, okay, on uh, connecting our arm to the shoulder, and two of my tendons have completely separated from the arm socket, so basically I am working, my arm is working with only two tendons instead of four, so that's why I can't comb my hair, and even the front it's really hard to comb, but I, I want to look halfway decent when I leave my house, so this is what I do. I'm sorry. I'm always thirsty. I think it's, um, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the medications or if it's my autoimmune disease. I have two autoimmune diseases. I have Crohn's, I discussed that. And I have connective tissue disease. My doctor thinks it might be mixed connective tissue disease. But anyway, lately my mouth has been getting extremely dry. And my lips will stick to my gums. Um, anyway. It impairs my speech, and my husband says, sounds like I'm having a stroke, but I'm not. Okay, this is the last piece I will leave out. And everything else, you see, that's a cat. Everything else, I'll leave alone. And it doesn't look that bad. No one has laughed at me. I'm really self-conscious. I'm like, you know, I don't want people laughing at me or anything. Okay, again, I moisturized my hair. Right the front, I probably didn't need to moisturize. And this, it's so curly, it'll just stay there. It'll stay put. I'm going to redo this one. Okay. Ah, it's that shoulder, that shoulder. Sometimes, a lot of times, I'll pin it to keep it in place. Now, oh, shoot. Let me look in the mirror. I just messed it up. Hold on it. I think you get the idea. Then I have another section here and I comb it. I like to comb my hair. I like my hair to look neat. Um, some women, they just, with natural hair, they um, only finger detangle their hair. But I, I single detangle too, but I also like, I comb my hair. Because I like that really neat look. Okay? Not to say if you just finger detangle, it won't look neat. I know a lot of women do it because I'm gonna look in the mirror because um their curl pattern is disrupted if they use a comb. 
But um, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, you know, I guess I don't mind if my curl pattern is disrupted, and I really, yeah, I don't. I guess I don't mind. Then this is the last piece. This is in a twist from Big Friday. It still looks pretty good. And I am going to. Ah, this is so painful. Usually looks better than this does. When I, I promise you, it's just that I am in the mirror. I mean, in the camera, and I can't really see what I'm doing. Um, geez. Yeah, it usually looks better than this if um, I was doing it in front of a mirror and not in this camera. But this is there, and yeah. So it's like a a cute little cute little updo, see? And then I have this in the back on both sides and in the front. Cute little updo, and it usually only takes me about 15 minutes to do, you know, what I do, as I said, I, I retwist my hair in the back um, every three to four days, and I, when I'm in the house, I just walk around without this on, I don't care, you know, it's just me and my husband and my cat, but if I go out in public, and usually, again, it's just to my doctors, or if I have to go to the grocery store, I will have adapted to wearing this to cover up um, my the back of my hair because it doesn't look very neat. I mean, it just doesn't look very neat. But the front, I do this, and no one's laughed at me. I know I keep saying that, but I'm very sensitive. People, you know, they just they don't even notice. If they do, they smile. So that's it. So I just wanted to show you that a quick way to make your hair look nice. If you do not, or if you are not able to comb your hair because of illness, say you have a broken arm, a uh, broken wrist or whatever's going on, you don't have anyone to comb your hair, you can, now for me, the reason why this works is because I have to lift my hands above my head to comb it, and doing the back is really, really very, 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 very painful. So I've adapted to keeping in two-strand twist and put this little satin bonnet in the back, and the front, I don't, my hands doesn't have to reach up as high except up here, and it's not as painful. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I may have been a little all over the place, but God bless you. I love you in the precious name of Jesus. Have a blessed week. Have a blessed week. Bye.